Hi there, this is Inmesh. How are you today? I just wanted to share with you a quick tip to save all the open files in Photoshop at once. So here we are in Photoshop and suppose you gushed in a bunch of images, say for your website, and your website has a white background. So I went ahead and turned the canvas background to white. And by the way, to change the canvas background to any color, make sure you choose custom and choose select custom color and you can select any color you want. Now, suppose my website has a white background and you opened up five or six images and you changed the images according to the background. Maybe you increased the contrast, maybe you added the vignette, whatever you wanted. And maybe you resized it. Now, you want to save all of them at once instead of going to have to go to file, save as with all the images. Here's what you need to do. Go to file, scripts, image processor. Now the image processor has a massive potential and we will be covering it in future tutorials. But for this tutorial, you can choose use open images. Now it has every step, step one, two, three, and four. You can use open images or you can choose a folder. You can choose a folder for all the images and it will process automatically. But for this, we're going to choose use open images because we are saving all the open images which are right now open in Photoshop. Now, second step, select the location you want to save the processed images. You can save it in the same location or you can choose this and select the folder that you want. So I'm going to choose a folder in the desktop and let's choose say Jay-Z and by the way, Jay-Z has nothing to do with this and click OK. Now, it's all fine. I want to save it as a JPEG or you can save it as a PSD. You can save it as a TIFF and you can save in all three formats at once. So you can keep all of them checked if you want. But I'm going to keep JPEG checked and let's keep TIFF checked just for fun. And you can choose the quality and the quality ranges from 0 to 12. The minimum value is 0 and the maximum value is 12. The less the quality, the lesser the file size, the more the quality, the higher the file size. Okay, so I'm going to choose full quality or maybe I'm going to choose eight. If I'm uploading it to web and I can also choose five, but let's choose 12 full quality and four is preferences. You can also run an action to it, but we'll cover this in future tutorials. Keep this unchecked, include ICC profile. That's fun and click on run. Now it will save each one of them one by one. So it's right now saving. It should do that automatically. And once it does that, let's open the folder to find out whether it has done the right job or not. So I'm going to go ahead and open the Jay-Z folder. There we go. And once you open the Jay-Z folder, it has JPEG folder. It has TIFF folder, right? Because we checked both of them. We checked JPEG. We checked TIFF. Now TIFF, it has everything in TIFF format and JPEG, everything in JPEG format. So here's how to save every open file at once in Photoshop. For more tips and tricks, make sure you hit the subscribe button and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you, my friend, don't miss a thing. I'll see you guys in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.